What does it mean to support West Ham? Now, personally, I can't answer that question given that I'm not from the East End of London. Although I love this club, I can't say that I was really born into it, nor do I fully, and will probably never fully understand what it means to be a natural born Claret and Blue supporter. They say that you should never forget where you come from. They say you should be proud of your roots. Because they're who make you. And in the case of David Gold, his roots certainly were a big part of him. David Gold was a West Ham fan, first and foremost. He was also a father, a grandfather, father-in-law, a business partner, and a co-chairman. But he was a West Ham fan, like me, and maybe like most of you watching this. David Gold's backstory was like most people who grew up in working class East London. He was born in 1936, at 442 Green Street, his childhood home and where he lived throughout his youth. He played for West Ham United as a schoolboy and living near the site of the old Berlin ground made things all more convenient for him, enabled him to enhance his love for the football club that he would later own 75 years later down the line. As time passed, he started to venture into the world of football. He and David Sullivan invested into Birmingham City alongside Karen Brady. And then in early 2010, a personal accomplishment was achieved. David Gold went on to do something that very few people in this world could ever do. He got the chance to own his favourite football team. He just, he just got it, for lack of a better word. He just got what West Ham was. He understood the importance of his own family and the family values of the club. He would spend hours talking to players and captains and managers. He'd go out for lunch with these people. He'd address concerns with them. Maybe share one or two stories about his younger days. He had time for the fans. You may recall that he went on the West Ham Way podcast with ex-West Ham United employee and Dave Walker. To date, that episode is the most listened to in the show's history. And that was back in around March 2018. Yesterday... Mr. Gold was laid to rest. He passed away last week at the age of 86 following a short illness. In a very sad time for the club, fans paid their respects. Laying him to rest was a difficult day for Mr. Gold's family. His fiancée Leslie, daughters Jacqueline and Vanessa and granddaughter Scarlett were in attendance. They took to social media to say a big thank you to the man they knew as their hero, their dad. David Gold's celebration of life was held at London Stadium. But it wasn't without a final trip around the streets of East London. So he could see where he came from one last time. And the fans could watch him as he passed by. It was a day of reflection. It was a day of stories. It was a day to honour this man's life. Manager David Moyes and his players and the coaching staff and the women's first team were all in attendance. 
former West Ham United manager and defender Slavon Bilic attended. Former players such as Andy Carroll, James Collins, Marlon Harewood, Carlton Cole attended. Players from times before such as Kenny Brown Jr., Steve Potts, Kevin Keane and Trevor Brooking were in attendance. Other footballing figures came to pay their respects. Brighton and Hove Albion owner Tony Bloom, a good friend of Mr Gold, attended. Steve Parrish was also there. Mark Noble, West Ham United's current sporting director and the longest serving player during David Gold's tenure, spoke. And Noble said, quote, When you look at the history and what he went through, as in growing up in East London and supporting West Ham United, well, I was very lucky to do that and play for the club. He obviously went that one better and owned the football club. It's incredible that a man from nothing did as well as he did and stayed true to himself. He was a really good man and I had a lot of time for him. It's very sad and emotional that he passed away, but you've got to celebrate a life like that because he sure lived it to the full. To grow up on Green Street, then own West Ham United, one of the biggest football clubs in the world, it's a life that should be celebrated. A little bit emotional, that really, isn't it? But the words rags to riches really do come to mind when we talk about David Gold. He came from nothing. A lot of people in the East End of London at the time came from nothing. They dreamed of the glitz and glamour of the 1930s. If they could have that, they would kill for it. They'd sell their kidneys or sell whatever they could to live a better life. Mr Gold had a dream of getting away from poverty and breaking that link. And over the years he was able to live a comfortable life. He was lucky to have had two daughters who both looked up to him and adored him. They've lost their dad, but they have every right to be proud of him. For the players, they've lost an owner. They've lost probably more than an owner. They've lost someone who could epitomise the club as much as Mark Noble. Now Mark Noble certainly knows what it's like to be a West Ham born and bred fan. Kevin Nolan also knows what it's like to have been the captain of this club. He served as captain under the Gold Sullivan Brady regime. Nolan added, quote, I just remember his smile and his warmth. You could see the passion and love he had for the club. You won't believe he owned a club, as he was always giving his time to everyone. He was a genuinely caring man, and you could see that with all his family. He and his family were always very respectful. They're lovely people. I'm just delighted that we've given him some really good years over the last couple of years. It's what he deserved to see his boy or team being in Europe, fighting against the heavyweights and going toe-to-toe -to -toe with heavyweights in the Premier League as well. As for me, personally... I think that Mr Gold seemed like a very genuine down-to-earth man. He always had time for the fans. He interacted with them. He wanted to be with them. I actually got a photo of his car and me standing next to his car when I was around 12 or 13 years old. <laughs> Just after the takeover happened. There's a picture of me doing that. The cross iron sign. It's very sad to see that he's passed away. Um, my condolences and thoughts do go out to his family during this really difficult time. But just know that he lived 86 years of the best life he could. And he lived a full life. A good life. When you look back on where he came from, to what he achieved, he had every right to be proud.
And for Jacqueline Vanessa, you had every right to be proud of him to be your father. Mr. Gold, thank you for everything you did for West Ham United Football Club. May you rest in peace. We promise we won't let you down. We'll still be at, at the London Stadium week in, week out. We'll be cheering on the fans, the Czech fans will. We'll be cheering on those players home and away. And we will make sure that this club never forgets you and that we put in the graft that you put in. Rest in peace, Mr. Gold. Come on, you irons.